Oh my gosh, I don't know why this makes me so nervous. Oh my goodness. I kind of wish I would have opened this earlier. Okay. In this video, we're gonna be looking at some seed packets that I just ordered from Amazon. And I have two seed vaults, which this really makes me nervous to do this. I'm actually gonna crack these open. A lot of you guys ask like where you can get seeds. Now I personally get seeds from the dollar store. I get them from farm stores. I order them from True Leaf Market, Baker Creek, you name it. I get seeds everywhere as well as Amazon. Let's start getting into them. And we're gonna start with this adorable little box here. This is a sustainable, sprout box and it's really cute because it kind of looks like just a little box with the little handles this is really cute and I was really attracted to the design of the packets when I found them on Amazon because I'm a sucker for good packaging I have a bag of beets there are bell peppers we have broccoli, cabbage, carrots and cauliflower, tomatoes and cucumbers. Then there's bush beans, jalapenos. We grow a lot of jalapenos, probably too many. There is a kale. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I love growing kale inside and I have a full unit right now dedicated to kale. Those are going really well. I started them, I think just after the new year black seed simpson lettuce which i also grow a lot some onions some peas we have radishes which i love doing my radishes in my green stock which is usually on the deck in the summer we have romaine lettuce roma tomatoes spinach swiss chard and zucchini Aren't these the most adorable little packages? They are just so cute with the designs on them. 20 different packets of seeds. This would be a really great starter box for anyone that is just starting outside or you wanna experiment with some new things with your inside gardens. And again, the box, just absolutely adorable. Now I'm gonna open this one and it is a garden salad. Oh my goodness, I think this one, and it's childproof. Okay, we're getting it open. So it's just gonna open on the side. They always feel like such small, thin boxes, like what's actually going to be in here. So we have our seed packets. There are little stakes in here, and these are little bamboo wooden ones. They have their little mark right there on the top. They're all wrapped together, so that's really cute. And then there's a little card in here on how to redeem a free ebook. And here are the packs. Now, this one does not have as many seed packs in it. So I have organic salt and pepper cucumbers. I haven't really done a salt and pepper cucumber. Uh, another romaine lettuce, more radishes, organic lime basil. Now I've done regular basil, but not a lime basil. So that one will definitely be going inside. Sugar snap peas for the outside garden. Organic onion purplets, and I don't know if I've done this specific one either, so we're gonna have to give that a try. White cherry tomatoes. Now I usually with my tomatoes stay within the red family, so I haven't really done a lot of a different color, and especially not a white cherry. So this would be interesting and may go outside on our trellises. Arugula, I have a ton of arugula growing right now. My husband actually loves arugula and another organic broccoli. Now I do wanna talk really quick about organic and non-GMO. Non-GMO means that the seed or the plant that the seed came from was not genetically modified. There was no intrusive, chemical, scientific, anything to get the plant. Organic, I would love to debate this. If you guys want to add comments in the bottom on this, please let me know. The plant was organic when they harvested the seeds, but if you put the seeds in the ground and you use your own fertilizer, it's not going to be organic. You could actually get a plant that was grown non-organically, that seed is gonna go in the ground, and then if you're growing organically, 
how much really came into the seed from the original non-organic plant. So this is something that you really have to make your own decision on. I don't necessarily care if it's organic or not because of the way I treat my own gardens and the fertilizers that I choose to use for my garden is going to alter the plant anyway. Next one we're going to open is a herb kit. It says it has 12 packets of seeds in it. Online, this almost looked like a book, which was a little weird and deceiving, I guess you could say with the photo, but it is just a really pretty box and we've got a lot of wrapping around it as you can see I haven't opened these and there's no real easy way except for the top here oh and there's tape on it too there is a little pamphlet in here and it has all of these instructions which this is really nice if you want to look a little bit deeper into each one of the plants it looks like these seed packets are not as fancy as the last two that we opened they have little scanners on them i guess for scan here to grow so again more instructions and it feels like it is almost a recyclable material and you're just going to look down in the corner on this tiny little print here of what these are. So we have a creeping thyme, a sage, chives, dill, which I can smell. Some of these I can smell. And um, Melissa lemon balm. I don't know how different that is from any other lemon balms I've grown. So I'll have to look that one up. I have a parsley, a garden cress, which I have not done that one before. So we'll give that one a try. Marjoram, which I don't know if I've planted that one inside the hydroponic systems. Basil, can never have too much basil. Oregano, chamomile, and coriander. And I don't think I've done coriander either. This is a 12 pack kit and it says that it has over 15,000 seeds. Now take those numbers mm, for what they're worth. 15,000 seeds doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get 15,000 plants and you're not gonna plant all of these at the same time. I always take that as just kind of a random number of what they threw in here and no one's gonna count that to make sure it's actually 15,000 seeds anyway. And these two guys are a different story. But before we get into that story, only 94% of my viewer base of this channel is actually subscribed. It's a totally free way to say thank you for making this content. And by subscribing, you may not even be notified of every single video that I post. So it's just a really nice way to say thank you, you like the content, and to support it. This one is from Patriot Seeds. Now I do have affiliate links that I can put down in the description below. I've been an affiliate for a while now because we really do like how everything can be stored and saved for a later date. And I have had this one for quite a while. You can order these from Patriot Seeds or if you are more comfortable, you can order them from Amazon. Okay, are you ready? Oh my gosh, I don't know why this makes me so nervous. Probably because, you know, it's been sealed for quite a while now and I just don't know what to expect. I feel like I'm just, you know devaluing something like those kids toys when we were little and you were told just leave it in the box but you're gonna open it anyway and now you're looking back going okay that cabbage patch doll or that transformer or whatever it was like would be so much more if it was still in the box but we actually have to get into this and oh that opened very easily oh my goodness okay a lot of these seed vaults are just ugly packages and they're just like not anything fun. These look like fun packets. Now I kind of wish I would have opened this earlier. <gasps> oh, let's see. Oh my gosh, they're huge. Look how big these packets are. Another really cool thing about these packets is you can see they're really, really sealed. And now I'm not quite so <laughs> nervous that I opened this because I can leave these. They even have like a little Ziploc right here at the top. So even if you were to open them, they have a Ziploc. Oh, I'm really happy now. Okay, let, <laughs> let's get into it. This is a watermelon and we have beets and we have beans, 
cucumbers and more radishes. And I did notice that the fruit is in the red and we have green for the vegetables. Oh my gosh, these packets. I just can't get over how tall these are. This is a normal seed packet and these are the Patriot seed packets. Quite the difference. So we have California Wonder Peppers. I have broccoli, more carrots, blue lake bush beans. We love, love growing these on our cattle panel trellises. Check out some of my videos that I've done some outdoor gardening stuff so you can see our cattle panel trellises. These are beautiful on these. Cascading peas, chives, and I love doing chives and green onions in the indoor systems. They grow really well, they last a really long time, and you can put them in so many recipes. We have a butternut squash, which I've never done this as starting it from a seed into a plant. This is something I usually get at my local greenhouse if I'm gonna be growing squash. Yellow sweet Spanish onions, beefsteak tomatoes, Paris Island lettuce, cabbage, snowball, self-blanching cauliflower. I've never seen a cauliflower that's self-blanching. Kind of curious about that. So we're gonna have to look that one up if you know post it in the comments below. Roma tomatoes, another fruit. So we have some jumbo melon, some more squash, spinach, and that looks like it's it. This is a seed saving guide. So this is gonna walk you through everything. And some really good instructions are always nice when you're looking at these seed kits. In this one, in the Patriot Seeds, we've got ourselves 20 packets. Two of them are fruit. One of them is the herb, the chives, and the rest are all vegetables. I'm really happy with this. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy that I actually opened this on camera because that wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be because really I feel like with this tin, as much as this seals back down and I could probably reseal it if I wanted to by putting this tape back on it. I think something like this would last quite a while. And look at, I got my label, it's kind of crooked, but I got it resealed to the best of its ability. Probably not the air pulled out of it like they usually do. I could maybe throw an oxygen absorber in there and you know suck that back out, but really happy with this. That was fun to open it. And now the jumbo one. This was actually given to me as a Christmas gift a few years ago. And you can get these on Amazon. I believe that's where it was purchased from in the first place. This says it has 105 varieties, 19,645 seeds. I have opened this to this point. This is what you get and this is what you get. <sighs> I need to center myself. I need to take a breath. Why am I so nervous? Why am I so nervous opening something like this? Hmm, because is this like the other YouTubers when they open like Pokemon cards or baseball cards and they're just like, is there something worth a ton? And that's what I feel like. It's the homesteader nervousness of gardening. Okay, so we have more packaging upon more packaging. Okay. Still making me feel a little bit better. We have a Ziploc bags with seeds. So this one says 25 types heirloom seeds, pack A, 25 type pack C. This is a B, so A, B, C. Let's do our alphabet. E, oh, and then this is a bigger. This feels like a snack pack size, um, and this is the Y pack. Now, because this one's bigger, I can already see just up close. These are your peas and your beans and your corn. These are your very large seeds. I was thinking maybe they got bigger as they went up alphabetically, but I don't know why I have A, B, C, E, and Y. Somebody doesn't know their alphabet. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and open. A. Let's just get on with this, Angie. Oh my goodness. You can see these actually do have little um, oxygen absorbers in them. So that's cool. I could probably 
put more oxygen absorbers in there if I needed to. And these are just tiny, 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 tiny. Look at this. Just a little Ziplocs with the seeds. If they did fancy labels, it'd probably just make it even more expensive. And we're gonna get out some glasses because I can pretty much read everything up until this point, but these packets are absolutely tiny and, you know, I'm hitting that mark where tiny words are not my friend. Okay, so we have white sweet Spanish onions, there's watermelon, turnips, tomatoes, couple different tomatoes, Swiss chard, squash, more squash. Ah! And I'm dropping things all over. These packets are very slippery too, by the way. Bell peppers, spinach, radishes, okra, lettuce, lettuce, eggplant, dill, cucumber, collards. Oh, I've never grown collards. I really should. Cauliflower, carrots, melons cabbages, broccolis, beets, and the one I dropped off the floor, rutabaga. Oh well, it just tried to get my attention because I haven't grown that one either. I actually have the germination rate on them, which is pretty interesting. So I don't know if that's something that they have tested with the seeds as far as the germination rate. The bell peppers have an 85% germination rate, the collards 85, the spinach 87, the melons 88. So maybe it's something that they tested with their seeds to get their germination rate. A good way to determine if your seeds are still viable is to actually take them and put them in water. If the seed floats, then there is air trapped in the shell of the seed and it's probably not going to be as viable as if something falls down to the base of your water and then that one, the sinking ones, are actually gonna be the ones that are gonna germinate for you. So if you put 10 seeds in a cup of water and one floats and nine of them sink, you have a 90% germination rate. So that might be something as far as what they're doing to test these and see what the average germination rate is for those. Okay, I hate that I'm doing this, people. This is just what we have to do when we get older, right? Calabri? Does anybody know what Calabri is? Put that down in the comments below. I don't know what that is. Eggplant. I'm a very general, typical gardener. Thyme, celery, carrots, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. My husband loves growing Brussels sprouts and beets. These seed vaults are probably not going to be something that everybody just wants to run out and grab because they can be more expensive. So if you are just starting out in your indoor gardening or your outdoor gardening, then maybe you just want to run to your local farm store and get something like a Burpee brand, which I use Burpees all the time, or even your dollar store. I have a lot of dollar store seeds and right now is the time. This video is the middle of February and that is the time that you want to start hitting the dollar stores because they're starting to put out their spring and those seeds do not last a long time and you know they're like a dollar so well unless you're at some of those new dollar stores now where everything is about 25 instead but whatever inflation thanks for making my dollar store a dollar 25 I, for the most part with this one, if I'm gonna keep it the way it is, I am definitely going to use another Mylar bag because we have those for some things that we do for food preparation as well. So I might re-Mylar bag this and put that oxygen absorber in there and then we'll keep this one going for a little bit longer because I haven't had it for that many years. This one I have had for the five plus years so I might get into some of these. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share your love, I appreciate it so much, and we will see you guys on the next video.